After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Working in a county jail, you see every type of crime. And one thing that still amazes me are those people that are brought in think for things like probation violation. They've been given a second chance. They just have to follow some rules, and they can't even do that. What's in your bra? No, 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 no. What is it? Oh, oh, we're, oh, we're still going. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Yes, you do, too. No, I don't. Stop grabbing for it. Uh, we're still going. Check your other side. So do we need to do a strip search on her? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're still going. What else do you have on you? Just syringes. You have syringes? Sure. Thank you for telling me that. I totally appreciate it. Where's the syringes at? Right don't there. don't grab for them. So it's in the front? Yeah, it's not inside me. It's just Are they covered? Yeah. Let me go get a female officer. Um, Cobe should be over there. All right. OK. Cobe's going to come yeah. over and help us. Hey, I'm not going to fight anymore. No, please don't. It's just really serious, but I'm glad you told me about the syringes. That's a, that's a big deal. All right, you're not going to reach for anything, no, OK? Keep not. your hands behind your back. Let's go into that room. I'm going back to prison. I just got out. Just... What are you doing, then? I got a drug problem. What's her charge anyways? Burglar and tools. No, especially not in prison. OK, right here, ma'am. This row, hey, this row, all the way down the very last chair. She says she just used one of them, and the other one was already empty. You brought in Amy? Yeah, I brought her in. She was a passenger in a vehicle. They ran a red light, and uh, <laughs> stopped when they were acting a little weird. Uh, the driver ended up having uh, warrants for out of the city jail. I pulled them both out. Uh, she was acting, she was still acting a little weird. Ended up searching her purse, found some possession of, she had possession of uh, burglary tools, shaved keys, so we hook her up. The entire time she's in front of the car, she's, uh, she's moving around, trying to reach, you know, forward, kept moving forward, and I asked her what she was doing. She said she was putting on her jacket, said she was cold. Um, we searched her, didn't find anything on her, and obviously now, comes out she has a, she had a lot of stuff in her bra so mm -hmm. she says she grabbed into her purse and started pulling all that stuff off and stashing them on her because she was afraid because she didn't want to go back to prison next female face the wall spread your feet you anything sharp on you ma'am no where are you in here i'm not real sure How, nobody <laughs> nobody's sure they didn't say anything to me well okay so you were fighting with somebody then Oh, my ex-girlfriend got angry. I just got here. What are you doing hanging out with your ex? Because I thought things would be better. That's what lesbians do. And apparently... <laughs> <laughs> That's what lesbians do? <laughs> You're so funny. So you hang out with your ex, and it wasn't just better. just moved here yesterday. Moved from where? Arizona. I got a job dealing cards. So what was the argument about? I don't really know. You don't even know? Wow, not worth it at all. Do you have a bra on? That's a sports bra. Okay, spread your feet for me as much as you can. Uh, I don't know, but I'm a little upset that I got white shorts on and I gotta go to jail. Because you have white shorts on? Right. They, they look brand new. They look. All right. Um, have you been to jail before? For a DUI. For a DUI in Arizona? DUI in Arizona? Okay. Um, Six years ago. Uh, yeah, sure is. This is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna have you go have a seat where that other female just was. You'll be screened by medical. You'll hang out here for a little bit, and then we'll start getting you through the process, OK? This row, last chair. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. She uh, just moved out to Vegas yesterday. Been here one day, hung out with her ex-girlfriend, and they end up, from what she says, they end up getting an argument, and she's here for uh, battery domestic violence. She's got a good attitude, and I could definitely appreciate that. OK, where were you at? What were you doing before you were brought in here? What were the circumstances? Oh, it was an Imperial Palace playing poker. She got angry and she said she wanted to go to the room, so I went up there with her and 
She's not a hitter, but she's got this thing when she gets upset because she was in a truck driving accident. Her face got smashed. It's kind of puffy and red. And like the security guys and everything came up there and they were like, do you want to press charges? Do you not? And she said no, like three times. And I was, and then I went to walk outside because I was like, I just want her out of here at this point. And then when I walked outside, she got upset and I asked her again. And that was the end of it. Um, were you guys both drinking tonight? Oh, she was drinking vodka. Vodka? Yeah, you know, some people can't drink that stuff. Really? You weren't drinking? No, I've been drinking, but not not out of control. Not nearly as much. All right, and that's why you're here. Ta-da. Oh, good luck to you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ta-da. All right, well, I'll get you through the process. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you. Amy, real quick. So you, you think the guy that you're with tried to get you in trouble? Yeah. Why? Did he because see? Did he, he see got, the officer? He had, he had the same. He had burglary tools too, and a pipe, and everything. So why would he want to get pulled over and get caught? But he ran a red light. And you think he ran the red light on purpose? Yeah, obviously, yeah. I mean, to get caught. Is that what you're saying? Well, they let him go, but they arrest me, and I wasn't even driving, and he had a warrant supposedly, and that's the reason they searched your car and all that. You're here because you screwed nice. up. Stupid. You're here because you screwed up, Amy. Whatever. Coming through. She believes that it's the other guy's fault that she's here, that he did it on purpose to get her brought in, yeah. and that you just picked, uh, you picked on her. What, what charges is she going to be? What she's she getting be? booked on possession of burglary tools, uh, possession of PC, yeah. possession of controlled substance meth, possession of dangerous drug without a prescription, and possession of a hypodermic device. You get charges. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. She's very back and forth as far as attitude. It's her responsibility, and she got herself here, and she's going to put herself back in prison. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. I've been on the department about eight years. The last three years have been spent down in booking. Usually, as officers, we like to weed out the ones that are potentially a disciplinary problem. If we don't, a lot of the inmates will start feeding off that negative behavior and it becomes contagious. So it's pretty important for us to keep them in check. Hello, how are you? <laughs> oh, howdy, sir. Hold on. You're too excited to come to jail. Have a seat right there. No. Have a seat right there. We'll be with you shortly. How you doing, officer? Thomas, long time no see. Okay, yeah, I got game. I was here the other day. Oh, yeah, I missed you. Yeah. Remember, you came in one time and you had about five other guys. Oh, yeah, the band. band. Yeah. yeah. You in a band? I got albums, yeah. Believe it or not, he's actually a great drummer. He's a great yeah. drummer? Like Tom Ray. Like so Tom he's Ray in your Ray band? Or... Yeah, this guy's in your band. He cut his dreads off last year. Is that when he died? Wow, that was like a big reunion. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, what's your first name? Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, all the way down. You're going to have a seat in the last chair away from medical. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, stand up, please. Go and face the wall hey, for us, Daniel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Daniel, what are we going to do with you? I don't know. What are you going to do with me? I don't know, sir. It's all fun games until you get handcuffed. Tommy said you guys had a band, so what's the name? Tommy, what, what kind of band do we have? You just go by memory. What band do you have? What's the name I of your band? Remember. What's the rules? Yeah, wh when's yeah. the last time you played? Where do you play? All that type of stuff. I play the drums. In his garage? You play the drums. You oh, guys play minute. anywhere? Are you guys got any to... gigs? Not yet. Not yet? You guys are working on it, huh? Yeah. Have a seat in the last chair. Wait for the medical staff to talk to you, OK? Wait a minute. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. <laughs> This is an interesting pair we got here. One, they were actually inside of a car wash, sitting there just drinking. The actual inside yeah, of a car? Really? inside of it, yeah. Um, cars going through everything. They're just sitting in there <laughs> drinking. They had a thing of vodka. They had signs outside the car wash and stuff, so trespassing stuff for that. And then uh, the other guy, he had a uh, actual highway patrol uniform in his, uh, in his bag. So, really? Wow. Yeah, so got him for the uh, stolen property, so. OK, so we're just charging him with trespass and the stolen property? Yeah, and the uh, drinking package liquor in a parking lot. Wow. Oh, yay! 
<laughs> you guys are being way too loud out here, okay? You need to quiet it down. If not, I'm gonna take both of you, put you in a cell, no phone, no nothing, for a long time. Keep the noise down, Sorry. okay? One and only warning, you guys got it? I understand. All right. Can I like sit like a couple seats away just to make sure? If that's what it takes. That's what it might take. What are you doing, <laughs> Tommy? What are you doing? Pull those pants up before I charge you with indecent exposure. Hell, have a seat. <laughs> Daniel. This is um, OR paperwork for a release on their own recognizance. Daniel? Yes? This is for you, Thomas. Uh, this is for you. First, your address, how long I, you I, live I, there. If you're homeless, just mark homeless. So go ahead and fill that out. Hand it back to me when you're done. Apparently, we're nobodies. CCDC doesn't want me here. I can't. Not a bad thing, though. Yeah, you're not important. Daniel? Yes. Shh. Stand right there. OK. Face this way, face the camera. Your whole uh, body. Your whole body. Ow. Your whole body. Turn your whole body, face this, or you'll be done. And I'll be, what? you'll be. What did I have to do? Put both feet in the box, facing this direction, facing this direction, both feet. That would be your right and your left foot, sir. There oh, you go. Like that. Just oh, like I'm that. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Look straight in your head. All right, you want to sit out there all day, sir, because it can be arranged. No, I can no, take no. that here. Actually, you know what? Let me void this until you can walk right with the process. Hey, no, 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 sit. No. Look right here. Look okay. right here. Turn your body to the right. Look right at the window, sir. Now go take a seat. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Tommy, pull those pants up. Eagles. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> All right, Daniel, here is a copy of your charges. Looks like you're charged with possession of stolen property misdemeanor. Wait a minute. Drinking what? packaged liquor misdemeanor and trespassing misdemeanor. Also has basic information, your name, where you're born, which was Provo, Utah. Yeah. Now come on out here. Okay. All right, out this way. Stand up against the wall right here. Right here. All right. Have you been in this room before? Yes, I have. Do you remember the rules in this room? I understand the rules. Okay, you're gonna sit in the first three rows on the left with the guys. Not when they the call your name, no, you're not gonna sit with the hookers. I understand. All right, good luck to you. Good luck to you, man. All right. All right, go take have care. A seat. Good luck. No, don't touch. No. Mm -hmm. Just well, go have a seat. Can't be friends. Just no. go have a seat. Thomas, come on up here. Don't sit next to him, and do me a favor. While you're out here, keep your pants up. All right. Have a seat. I'm working on it. Keep them up. Yes, sir. Good luck, Tommy. I love Las Vegas. He just exposed himself. It was an accident, so. But I just wanted to let you know he's out here in open booking, so. Okay, so they're like gas and fire when they're together. Gas and fire, yeah, that's why I want to keep them separated. If they get together, then they may end up in a side cell, but. Good choice. All right, Thank thanks, you. Arch. under 12 years. Uh, my duties as a supervisor to ensure the safety of the area, safety of the officers and the inmates alike. And on a daily basis, we receive up to 100 inmates, sometimes more. So never a dull day. Something's going down in booking. Hey, they're about to beat me up. Nobody doing it. Help! 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 Face forward, face forward. I'm gonna keep resisting. I'm not resisting, homie. I'm not your homie. I swear to God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, homie. I'm sorry. I'm trying to pull your hand away from me. I'm sorry. Amen. 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 He's going to the chair. Toughen him up. Put him in the Fat to be bending my legs like that, man. Please I ain't, stop. Stop resisting. I'm not, man. You're not. Ah, my legs. Tommy. Turn around, sit up. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm turning around. Hold up. I'm turning around. Stand up. Y'all need to do that. Back. Uh, I did. 
She look, look, look. I ain't even resisting. I ain't even moving. I'm not even moving. And they're choking me. I'm not even moving, and they're choking me. Do the pat down. I didn't resist at all. Yeah, I'll be out tomorrow night. I'll be out tomorrow. Yeah. When they initially were brought in, they started yelling San Diego in the house, and uh, the officers that transported them were trying to get them to sit down. One of them didn't listen at all, went right over to the females and was saying something to her. And then uh, when they finally got them to sit down, one of them again stood up and started kissing the other guy, made a big scene, started yelling, and that's when we responded. Man, I swear to God y'all wouldn't do this shit if y'all had no batches or no guns, homie. Oh, Bob, y'all, my you swear to God, y'all some dirty uh, bitch breaking us down for no reason, though, right? Got y'all some bitch. All this over a traffic stop. Over a traffic Are you guys serious? Over a traffic Obviously, with 35, 40 inmates or pretrial det detainees out there. We can't have them out there disrupting our area. So I'm bringing one upstairs. We're going to keep another one downstairs for a cool down period. There was marijuana in the vehicle. The uh, driver, Randall, was brought in for DUI drugs. The passenger, who claims he's the brother, James, was brought in for a uh, full extradition warrant out of California for larceny. Oh, OK. I don't want no blood tests. Somebody stop. They're sticking new needles in me, homie. By Nevada law, I'm we have to take to the blood. He's I'm resisting. Not, but I'm just saying, He's man, refusing to do I'm it, so a forced blood draw will be done please. using the restraint this chair. This is not right. So. Somebody help me. Ah, let me go. I don't give no consent. It's just not right. Already homie. done. That ain't right, homie. Watch, homie. Watch. This is stage one. Stage two is being inside, so with handcuffs on. It's be a little bit more comfortable, but you'll be able to move. Once they come back and check on you, they'll take the handcuffs off. That's stage three. How long is now that it, be, sir? Can I finish? Yeah. At any time you start acting up again, we'll go right back to stage one. No problem. All right, do everything they tell you to do. It's going to be one of those mornings. One of those mornings. Yep. You guys treat me like a murderer. Nice. Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal Lecter. You're sure you already started. Uh, I'm just playing. I'm just you playing. already started. I'm just playing. This is not this is All not right, your sorry. show. All right, sorry. This is not your show to be in. Man, you lighten up a little bit. Come on, step in. For sure. They're gonna take that mask off you, they're gonna Seriously. take that grill off. Don't break my arm. Just tell me what you want me to do, man. Open your mouth, your grill. I'm cooperating yeah, with y'all. Why y'all picking me up, man? Stay dude, stay down. Stay there. I got y'all, man. Thank you. I ain't been fighting y'all. Fight fight They're going to come back and talk to you guys in a minute, OK? I just need to do something my head. It's going red. It's going down. It's still a little verbally abusive. Hopefully, you close down. Why are we cuffed if we locked in a cell? Sarge is banging his head really hard on the window. Why are you banging your head on the window? I've been in the cuffs for three hours. You haven't been here for three hours. Come here. Doing me like this. Yes. Trying to get out no, stay seated. Yeah. Sir, we're afraid you're gonna hurt yourself. That's what we're doing right now, is to protect you. Slide back. I can't barely breathe when you got me like then this. Stop talking if you can't breathe. I don't understand why y'all doing me like this. I didn't even resist it, man. Okay, let's go over to the I didn't do nothing, homie. Why the f y'all doing me like this, homie? He was banging his head off the glass in one of the side cells. Head, so for his safety, we're gonna put him on suicide watch. We're gonna get him out of the chair, get him out of that clothes. See if we can get an exit without anybody getting injured. On everything I love, I wasn't banging my head, bro. Uh, are you guys serious? You know, every time we try to talk to you, you just override us. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. Stand up. <laughs> They're doing. How you doing? Ooh. Been a while. Kind of calmed down since before. Yeah. Do you remember any of that? Yeah. You understand why you had to be dealt with that way? 
coming in making a disturbance like that. I wasn't going to hurt myself, though. I'm not that yeah. type of person. Have you had the opportunity to talk to a doctor while you've been up here? We've got some doctors on deck right now, and uh, they'll probably come in and talk to you. And if you get cleared, you'll be moved out of this module. No, I ain't going to hurt myself, yeah. man. You seem much more calm. I just wanted to check up on you, OK? After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping and cops just me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out. I'm responsible for supervising approximately 20 to 25 officers in the uh, Central Booking Bureau. That's a very challenging part of the job uh, to maintain uh, care control and custody of somebody who's violent. As a supervisor, I find it extremely rewarding because service in the corrections field is a sacrifice uh, and it is a just one. What are you in here for, man? I don't know. You don't know why you were arrested? Hey, let me work with you guys, and you work with me, man. No, we don't work with people. What we do is we have a set of rules in here that you're going to follow. You follow the rules, sit here and be quiet and go through the process, and that'll be that, all right? Hey, man, you're at the county jail. You're in the custody of the sheriff's department, OK? Yeah. If you become combative at any time, no, they're going to use force on you, understand? No, I don't. We, we want you to do, be calm, and do what they say. That's it. Just get away with Dilbert over here. No name calling. I'm just calling like I see it. No, don't call names. If you got to call names, don't say anything at all, all right? Don't push my hand. Shh, shh. Stop pushing it. I've been doing this for a while, sir. Stop sir. pushing it. Where's he going next, mate? Uh, nurse. Say nurse. Hey. <laughs> All right, remain standing. She's going to get your blood pressure and your vitals, all right? Wait up, let me do some push-ups so I can get my blood pressure up. <laughs> that won't help. Huh? Just keep standing straight up. I didn't tell you to sit down. Stand, stand up. up. Get him. <laughs> Why? You got to stand up. What? I got to be on a chair. That's just stupid. For his safety, we're going to restrain him. He's extremely intoxicated. Hey, and he's obviously out of control. This man was arrested here on a uh, bench warrant for burglary. He was uh, uh, combative, and obviously you see where he's at. And uh, we'll keep a close eye on him. <laughs> Watch this. Here goes the foot. Oh, come on. Hey. Come on. I need a stretch, man. Officer Elders, can you assist me? Uh, I'm just going to re-secure him. Okay. I'll push you back a little bit. All right, there. Listen to me. We're going to redo this for you. Last hey. time. Don't be busting out, man. You're a big guy. We don't want any problems from you. It's actually a lot of work to put you in here. Did you get it? Yes, sir. No, you got it the best you could. Oh, can we go, can we go in the corner? Can we go in the corner, Daddy? Yes, sir. Oh, that's pretty tough. You got to pretty much be a Houdini. So a lot of people have tried. Few have done it. Well, you know what? You want to see it done? Oh, come on. Once again, one more time. It hurts. No. It hurts, dude. I know, That's sir. big ankle, dude. It's too big. Well, what we're facing here is that he has a quite large ankle on the left side. He defeated the uh, left leg, soft restraint. Uh, right now, we're going to remove him from the prison restraint chair. He's going to be placed in Z21 by himself. OK, uh, Chava. We're going to take you out of this restraint chair. Do you understand that? Then you can go ahead and sleep it off. Stand up. Ultimately, once the physical behavior is controlled, the mind seems to follow. Get down. Get on the ground. Stop resisting. Stop resisting, sir. I'm not resisting. Don't you fight. You understand that? He swung on us. Oh. How do you think, you, sir? All right. Uh, can you tell me what happened with this guy? We got a call about a in-custody trespass at Harris Casino. 
Uh, we got there. They told us he'd been semi-cooperative, which means he's he was verbally aggressive towards him, but he was never physically aggressive. And you could tell he was kind of drunk uh, the whole way in. He was really quiet. And then when he got here, apparently something triggered him. Yeah, during the pat down, when he took the handcuffs off until so he could take his jacket off, he started to, didn't want to take his jacket off, so we had to help him take it off. Again, once the jacket came off, he attempted to swing on Officer Kelly's. Wow, it's good work, huh? What's your, what, what is truly your problem? I just need to use the restroom. Man. You need to use the restroom. That's Have you ever been in the county jail before? Yes. Okay. Now, what do you, what type of crime do you think it is when you turn around and attempt to attack an officer? Do you think that's a crime in the I state? I did not attempt to attack an officer. Really? What I did was told her to do not touch me, and I shoved away from her. That's what I did. Well, okay. she can touch you. I know that. All right? I know that. So listen to me. You're going to stay in that chair until I determine that you're going to cooperate and you're no longer a threat to the staff. Do you understand that? Period. OK, we're going to get on here and talk to uh, Chava. He was uh, extremely drunk earlier. Uh, he was in the prisoner restraint chair, did his best to get out of it. So we're going to go and see how he's doing. How are you feeling? Better? I was a little intoxication last night. Yeah, yeah, you were. Where are you partying at? I was partying everywhere, man. Yeah? The Vegas party. You blew it out. Where are you from, California? I'm out of Utah right now, but I was born and raised over here in Las Vegas. Okay. I had to come back and clear up some stuff. Right on. So you do uh, fire work, right? Yeah, I do well in firefighting, man. OK. Do you remember what happened earlier when you first came in? I was just drunk. Mad intoxicated. Yeah, yeah. You, you but I still like a fool, though. Bleh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we're going to come back and talk to you, and then uh, we'll get you through the process. Uh, let's give him a little more time to uh, calm down, and then we'll be able to get him through. My job is like having dual personalities. I have to adapt to every situation that comes in. If I have somebody that comes in and is laughing and joking around, I actually appreciate that because I don't get a lot of that in my job. But you got people that come in and are aggravated and upset and refuse to listen or allow me to calm them down. And then that's when it becomes an issue and I have to step it up. Christina, why are you here? Because me and my mom got into an argument. Christina, put your shoes on, not our shoes. We got into an argument and she slapped me and I got okay. I got the marks, but I'm here. Because yeah, no she's 61 years old and I'm 31. So yeah. someone's gotta go to jail. Someone does have to go to jail, ma'am. Why are you slap what why are you fighting with your mom? Because she's you shouldn't talk back. I shouldn't, but I take so much and Do you guys live together? Yeah. yeah. But you said you're 31? Yeah. Why do you live with your mom? Because she's helping me out. I have a newborn. Well, he's three months. How'd the she argument start? Hurt. Because she called my, uh, um, she, she got Larson? mad about my boyfriend. She called him an ass. She was take, had an attitude Larson. with me, and I told her, don't be yelling at me. Don't take it out on me. And then I called her a bitch. I told her, I said, you know what? If you ever touch me again, I'll, um, I'll make sure I have your ass thrown in jail. But she's my mom. I don't want to put my mom in jail, right? So then she throws her phone at me. Here, call the cops. And I said, I'm not calling them. So she calls them. Look, I got the mark. Okay. I got the hole in my shirt, but I'm here. You know, but overall, you're living with her. Just get it together. You've got a baby now. you got to be responsible. You're, you have any other kids? No. And you're 31 years old. Go see medical. Behind you. Down to the end. That row, yep. She needs to grow up a little bit and start taking care of her child. Okay, just notified us that they need booking officers out into the Sally Port for assistance. At this point, we don't know what's going on. We don't know if it's a combative inmate. But what are you screaming about? We all work up to The guy, the guy at my guard game got me so pissed. So you're going to cooperate? I'm, I want to get a lawyer. What? He's being difficult. He's just more loud than anything, so we're out here and he's actually listening to directions, so we'll get him through the process. I would like to see a judge so like, I think yeah, I've been now. wrong, like you can't believe. I think there's a conspiracy going on between the policemen and the fire department. No, 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 and the cops down at my little thing, the learning cops. 
I'm really pissed about this. In general, a 69-year-old man, first time in my life getting treated like this. Anything sharp on you there? Just me, now let me tell you, I got a gun in my car. You want to know about that? Either? 222 hadn't been shot in 40 years. You don't practice? You got to practice with your shooting, man. No, I'm not a shooter, man. You guys are the killers. Oh, come on. I think so. Well, what happened to your team? My you teeth, teeth are gone. I think I set them on the card seat. A thousand dollars worth of teeth. Turn the white shirt. See the guy behind you in the white shirt right there? The, the big handsome guy? Yeah. We'll talk to him. He's our medical yeah. professional. I can't believe you took six guys to put my slipper on. You know, he's agitated, but that's all he is, is loud. Hey, so what happened with your big guy out there? He was having a hard time, I guess, putting in the, uh, the code on the gate. So the security guard came up to him and like, said, do you live in this property? And he goes, like, yeah, I do. And then security guard smelled the alcohol on his breath. And then security asked him, uh, have you been drinking? He goes, like, yeah, I'm 69 years old. I can do whatever I want. So what if I've been drinking? Like, boom, smack him on the face. That's foreign security after that. The mm -hmm. security guy pulled him out and handcuffed yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Appreciate it. We just wanted to get to see what the real story was. All right, that's good. You're welcome. I think we're nuts. Sir. Everybody thinks we're nuts. Sir, what, 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 what's going on with the slap? What did I hear about the slap? Did you slap somebody? Slap? No. You didn't slap anybody? The security guard said you slapped him. Oh, he's full. That's great. He's lying? Oh, uh, uh, he's lying, yeah. No, no I'm not sure when, I'm not sure when the handcuffs were on me, but he put the handcuffs on me early, but he threw me down on the floor. No, I was a little buzzed up. Uh, I will admit to that. So, 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 oh, I had four of police. I'm coming and I'm going home and I'm going to bed. I'm not doing anybody any harm. I'm going to sleep. And did, Nazi, did you have trouble punching in the code of the no, game? I, no, no, no. I know the code is. I think he's getting paid off by the tow companies. Well, I, I don't have a whole lot basically to live for after 69 oh, so if, still I, got a long way. if i gotta do something i might do it so, all right come this way. Come this I, way, I ain't killing anybody i never hurt anybody in my whole life but i've never been pissed off this month either. we're glad you haven't hurt anybody i think he's extremely intoxicated and i don't think he even remembers what happened and he lost his teeth that's a very bad day Listen to me. Oh, I can't believe. Oh, I'm sorry. What, you stepped on his toes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, bro. This is not. This is not me. But this is my life is on the stake Maybe right Ryan. now. Since we've treated you well, to treat us well and just I keep will. the volume down. All right. Thank you. All right, Christina. There's a copy of your charge. Okay. There's the battery DV. Twelve-hour hold. Bond is three thousand dollars. Okay. Now. Let me know what's going through your head right now about the whole situation with your mom. I'm upset. Who are you upset at? At her. Everybody has arguments. I have the mark on me, but I'm here. So you think attitude has anything to do with this at all? You do have attitude, and you know that. It's not, I, she's helping me out, is what she's doing. Yeah, she's helping you out. Where would you be right now? So, Where would you whatever. be right now? All right, go sit down. If you need something, raise your hand to ask these officers first. This is something I see all the time. She can change it. She's got to change her situation. Do something better for herself. I've been a CERT team member for approximately two years. We perform cell extractions, high-risk transports. We also deal with riots in the facility and disturbances. I love working in the CERT team because uh, we're a tight-knit group. We work well together. We train well together. And then what? Yeah. So what are you going to do when you go upstairs with Kevin? Mm -hmm. Eat a bunch of suits before? That's what I always do. Eat a bunch of suits? I don't even know Clean off the blood off the face, nurse. What you doing? What are you doing? You're not. No, we're talking about being skinny and food. being skinny. Cleaning the blood off. The you're not. You're not harassing him or anything. No, we're talking. You're just talking. No, we're talking. Okay. We, we've been in the yard before. We're just having our. I'm not. I really don't care, and I'm really not impressed. That you've actually been in prison. That's cool. So listen, listen. If you give me the the impression you guys are actually going to fight or anything, you're actually going to hurt this man. 
I will come back. I'm and you can even possibly get charged too. I probably possibly hit her too, but I'm not gonna. What's your, what's your story? You wanna hear my story? What, what's your story? Nah, I've been in Hawaii doing pretty good. Running the church, people that have promised for a long time. And I just came in because I was trying to protect a couple of 15 year old girls that got beat the f up. The police didn't do a good investigation. I went looking for the mother. And when they came back, they put me in handcuffs and I won't say no more because they do do good jobs, but I don't like sitting next to bloody that might have HV. What's up, Tyrone? That's all it is. You're not too bright, are you? I, I'm not. I, I, I ain't bright. I ain't bright. You're, you're spitting out, you know, racial comments and stuff, racial actually comment? threatening people. Racial? What, what is my racial comment? Come on, set up. I stand up. I'm really tired of hearing you, so you're going to go bye-bye. Bye-bye. And now we're going to get released. No, you're yeah, not going to get released. released. This guy's going to a site cell. He's actually making racial comments, threatening other inmates. Let go of my finger. OK, check it out. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not trying to resist him. He's got the death grip on my hand. He wouldn't let go. Excuse me, ma'am. I wasn't trying to squeeze your finger. We're going to put you in an isolation cell. I already know that. To observe okay. you, OK? Don't if you observe remain me. calm, we're going to have our psych nurse come talk to you. But just send somebody you, else. If you act out in there, you're going to end up in our restraint chair. Can you hear me when you're talking over me? Please don't beat me up and twist me up. We're not going to. Just right. look, listen, look at me. Yeah. Listen to me. All right, we're going to take off your shoes, all right? Okay. All right, Tim. All right. Okay, this is what we're going to do. You're going to stop talking, you'll follow instructions, okay? I'm sick and tired of hearing you talk. Okay. Okay? Okay. Take off his socks. I forgive all of you. No bang on the door. Don't make a big, big scene, okay? Sykes okay. is going to come talk to you. Actually, I brought him over here for some for his own safety. The guy on his uh, left, I felt was you know, I was going to do something to him. The guy on his right was actually kind of cowering to the at the corner. Okay. And he was a little bit afraid of him. So. Okay. Two girls just got beat up. I went to go beat up the guys that beat them up. They led them away and arrested me. So I need a, not a sight nurse. I need my priest and my lawyer. Can you focus on me for a minute? Not too much. Sure. Okay. Back. I'll come back and talk to you later. Sorry, man. Okay. Sorry. Got a code five male coming in. Got my officers out here with the restraint chairs. What's his name? John. Jonathan. Jonathan. You got me retarded. Jonathan. What's up? Ready to walk in? Yeah. Okay, you get one shot to come in. You're gonna walk in and be quiet, okay? Here, right here. Turn your feet. Turn your feet. Turn your feet right here. We'll give him a chance. Or no. Go on in. You guys, not putting me on that, right? Come on in. Yeah, put me on that. Have you been drinking? Yeah, I've been doing it. Doing any drugs? Yeah. All right. Stretch your feet. Hold up, hold up. You ain't got to kick my shoe like that. Not kicking it, sir. You ain't got to kick my shoes like that, man. You need to face the wall. All right, I'm going to face the wall, though, but hey, yo, so these is $300 sneakers. You need to be quiet. Face the wall. OK, these cost $300. Please don't kick my shoes like that, because I'm not disrespecting you. They're going to do what they do, OK? Of course. You need to be quiet. Look, it's like a. It is. Are you serious? I'm serious. What they're doing to me right now is what's done to everybody. Yes. Yo, why is he twisting my arm like that? First of all, we're not twisting can. anything. No, he is twisting my arm, like, real badly. Yo, I'm in here for a misdemeanor. Y'all treating me like I came in here for murder or some We treat everybody the same, sir. Good. Heavens we're going to put him wall. in a restraint chair now. Refusing to cooperate, keeps oh yelling. Oh, my God. Um, Yo, why is he twisting my arm like that? It's good. We good? Put him in. We're good. Please, stop twisting my arm Sit like back. That. Relax. <laughs> Sit down. John, is that your name? John. Oh my God, what is going on right now? Being placed in the restraint chair until you can cool down and start following instructions. Yo, y'all treat me like I came in here for some murder, dog. Y'all really acting like some bitches right now, man. Y'all really acting like some real loud bitches right now. And this guy- Watch your feet, gentlemen, watch your feet. Hey, Sarge, well, what are the chances of me pelling out? They're getting punked. Guess what? Man, I got, uh, what's my oh, charge, trespass? Man. I'm a trespasser, you what I know? This. Man, yeah, I'm, I'm a criminal. Man, yo, how much torture y'all gonna pull me through, man? The you chair ain't enough, y'all so got me. It's not tight enough, he wants a tighter. At you know, 406. Hey, this is probably worth a couple of jail for. <laughs>
while you're out there, you're gonna hear your name called. When you hear it called, you get up and go to that location. Other than that, if you need to get up and use the restroom or anything else, you have to raise your hand. You can't just get up and walk around. I, can I use the phone right now? No, right now. No, you need to have a seat first. In the back row. Sit in this back row right here. Calming down a little bit. He is. He's complaining that he's got a uh, shoulder injury that he had surgery on just 10 months ago. So I was a little concerned about that, but he okay. is being respectful and calm. and. So we're gonna try and see what we can do. Cool. Uh, this inmate was in the uh, side cell, continually yelling, banging. So we're gonna place him in isolation housing, have the doctor talk to him, see if they can help him out. So you're gonna go in here, follow the officer's instructions, okay? Is he just like review the You need to listen and be quiet, okay? You brought this upon yourself, so you need to accept the consequences now, right? I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids, I don't want